Hello guys, it's Northern Glover and welcome to a brand new video. Now today I'm going to be reacting to our kits that have been announced for the 2019-2020 season. Now if you don't know already, that's going to be played in the National League for the first time in 16 years, which I've already mentioned, I've already stressed about, I've already had my say, I'm not going to say anything else on the matter. So Yorval Town approached uh, the fans with four potential new kits. Uh, two home kits and two away kits and the fans were left to vote as to which kit they would like under the name of home one home two or away one away two and obviously you would just kind of click on which kit you would like which one which one you would prefer and then obviously uh, within a week the club would then come back to the fans and go right this is going to be our kits this is what you guys have voted now i am a big fan of this uh, before i start because I think that it does connect, you know, the fans with the football, with the football club a little bit more when they are like interacting with with you guys and obviously myself and like saying, right, what kit do you want us to wear for next season? Obviously, no one can really just like kind of like design their own kits and go, right, let it, let it be this, let it be this, because you know there'll be like nine, ten thousand bloody kits that the uh, cl uh, club will have to like try and follow, uh, try and like analyze and go through and everything. That'll take, you know, that'll just take forever. So I think that it's good that that yes the fans do get a chance to vote. Uh, I think you all did this last season and probably the season before I believe. Um, and I know that another uh, uh, I think that um, a number of other football clubs do it as well in and around the national league of the football league. Um, and I don't think anyone in the Premier League has done it before or in, even in the Championship they might have done. I'm not too sure. The Premier League I don't know. So I hope that uh, teams like you know big teams as well like my United perhaps Newcastle my team my other team as well so maybe they can get on board and maybe do this as well because I think this is a really really nice touch so the vote was put out on the 26th of April and it was announced on Friday which kits would be ours for the 2019 for the 2019 2020 season and this is going to be our home kit and this is going to be our away kit So this is our home kit, home design one. Now this is the one I would probably, I would have preferred out of the other kit as well because I think that you know it's just got the, like the simple little hoops, you know, going across the shirt. It looks quite very Yorvalish, if you know what I mean. Like our previous kits have looked very similar to this. It just looks proper, and like the other one looks kind of messy. It looks all over the place. It looks like it was it was quickly designed by somebody. It just didn't look as good. It didn't look as professional. So I think this kit looks really really nice. I like the little light green dark green kind of effect in the stripes so i do like that as well i do like the white back um to be fair i like the little obviously the little green collars uh going across the obviously the sleeves of the shirt the little green at the bottom as well the little dark green so i'm a big fan of this kit don't get me wrong i am a huge fan um let, obviously let, let me know what you think as well in the comment section below whether whether you are a your town supporter or whether you're just a random supporter do you like this kit did you vote for this kit did you want this kit if you like it tell us why if not tell us why in the comment section below and this will be our away kit for the 2019-2020 season now it, i'm not really a fan of this one i would prefer the other one where again it was like quite similar obviously going like downwards as well that the stripes are going downwards they had like the little red line in the middle of the black i really like that effect i think we had a similar sort of kit um probably in our second season in, in early two when we, when we won the league obviously it was going crosswards not downwards but that reminded me of the, of of uh, that particular kit and for me that was probably one of my favorite football shirts ever you know i've worn a lot of shirts you know england england clubs foreign clubs and that for me was probably one of my favorite shirts i've ever worn i, I, I love that shirt so much i love the red and black effect as well and i'm pleased that they've actually gone back to that to back to that colors uh but this kit i'm not a fan of i don't like the little transition at the back there as you can see it goes from like dark obviously it goes from black to about gray then it goes to red i'm not a big fan of that the stripes as well again like you look at the top again it has that similar sort of effect on the front but then you have like the little well you have like the the uh, red stripes going down the thin ones again not a fan of it just doesn't look it just look again a bit like the home kit it looks messy like I think the home kit one and away kit one looked really, really professional. The away kit two and home kit two just didn't look professional at all. Um, and I'm not really a fan of this one. I'm not particularly good. I probably wouldn't buy it. Obviously, I know obviously a lot of people would have voted for this kit. So again, if you are one of those people, let me know uh, in the comment section below whether you like this kit or not. Um, and uh, yes, just give us your thoughts why you like it, why you don't like it, and did you vote for these kits? I didn't vote for any of these kits. To be fair, I forgot all about the voting. I seen it on, and then I went went to work. Things got you know distracted. I got distracted by things, and then it comes back to work, and I'm like, oh right, that's the kit. All right, damn. Um, I probably will be buying the home kit. Um, I did last year. I did. I think I did the season before. So I might try and get the home kit, uh, the away kit. Not so much. 
Um, so obviously that's my thoughts as well. Probably a rating out of 10, I'll probably go the home kit, 8 out of 10. The away kit, 3 out of 10. It could, there, there are worse away kits, I've seen, I have seen worse away kits. But that could have been a lot better, but also could have been a lot worse. So like I said, let me know your opinions in the comment section below. And just quickly, just going to be talking about the game against Carlisle yesterday. Um, a bought nil nil draw, just summed up our season. But on a positive side, I think I've seen someone put on Twitter that we are now three games unbeaten. So, you know, every cloud, every cloud has a silver lining, doesn't it? So that's something we can look upon and be positive. But um, ugh, again, it was just rounded off a miserable season, finished rock bottom of the league. Not to count any, the oldest team in the Football League are no longer there coming down with us for the first time in their history. That is probably a sad sight to see. Uh, a lot of investors in that. Um, and uh, yes, obviously not counting. I think they're going to be favourites for the title definitely next season. They're going to rebuild. They've got the, you know, they've got the back and they've got the fans. They've got the stadium. They've got everything to be able to come straight back up. Us, on the other hand, I'm not too sure. I'm not optimistic. I will be obviously. I will be rooting for the team. I will want us to get back either playoffs or win the league. It's going to be hard, very very hard to get out of that league. Winning the league, no, absolutely not. I think the, I think probably the best we can ask for is maybe playoffs, but. Realistically, I can't see us getting out of that league for the next season, maybe even two seasons. But I could be wrong, who knows, we might have a miracle throughout the summer. But um, obviously only time will tell. So this is where I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you very much for listening. Um, and if you are new around here, please like and subscribe as well. Uh, go and follow me on Twitter, at Glover Northern. Uh, all one word, uh, uh, capital G, capital N. Um, and I've been putting out designs from a new logo, new thumbnails, new banner. Go and check them out if you haven't seen them already. Let me know what you think. Feedback, I'm always, you know, kind on feedback. Uh, positive or negative, tell us why you like things, tell us why you don't like things. Um, and obviously, yes, just stay tuned for, for videos coming out throughout the course of the summer. I'm going to be planning some videos uh, from now till the start of the season. Maybe do some re reaction videos to like maybe a sign-in or maybe even a, a manager being announced, whoever that will be. Um, and then obviously the fixtures when they come out, reacting to them. Predict predictions, then obviously when the uh, season rolls around, I will be talking about all your town games and the National League games. So if you like the sound of that, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.